All right, starting a trip to uh, Steveson, Richmond. It's another route I haven't done. Got the panniers on, you can see, the only but uh, the left and the right. And uh, packed with a couple water bottles and lunch. I don't know, this is maybe 10, 15 pounds. So uh, it's not a Costco run. So we'll see how it does. Well, this is the bike route. Do you know where the left is? Yeah, we have to go left. Here? Yeah. All right. So it's about 11 a.m. on a Friday. Maybe the uh, traffic won't be too bad. So we're in Kitsilano right now. Uh huh. Okay. Between fifth and sixth, gotta go right. So she's got her uh, mirror on the ledger. Bought one of those this week. So it's a fresh charge. I went to 100%. So it should be a round trip of at least 50, 55 kilometers. I think about an hour and a uh, half to get there. Again, I'm reading on my volts, on my 52.8 volts. Full charge on this battery was actually only 54. I thought it would be 54.6, but it's not. All right, uphill test. Fourth gear, one being the easiest, nine being the hardest. Okay, we're gonna get onto this uh, bike path. I haven't been here in a few years. Lots of gardens here in the middle that people take care of from the neighborhood. Let's have lunch over there. See the, ta the chairs are already set up. This is like the hippie hangout. Kitsilano is where all the hippies come to die. It's a nice area though. So again, another first in Vancouver. Never taken this route. I've never cycled to Richmond. So probably gonna hit some industrial areas that are not so great. 
but it's something different than just filming Stanley Park all the time. See how many e-bikes we can spot. But it's like what you think about it. There's the ugly Shaw Go bikes. And that was Bob Marley. Back from the dead. All right, so at least we're not in the traffic. So nice to use some garbage cans. So another great day for cycling. August 14th, 2020. I see some amazing cyclists. We're not wearing masks. Give them a reward. Should get some kind of incentive. So I'm going to stay in eco as usual. Try not to ever get out of pass one if I can help it. I think this is going to be a nice even ride. On our left, lots of nice neighborhoods, lots of trees. Tree coverage here is not the greatest. I can see that leisure back there. You see that? You keep an eye on her when she gets a whole kilometer behind me, then I know I can stop. Before I would just get ahead and not know where she was. So I've been looking at some new e-bike brands. And uh, top of the line motors from Bosch and... Bosch and uh, what was the other one? Bros. B-R-O-S-E. These are the two top German uh, companies. And uh, the difference is, I think the Bros is apparently the quietest motor. So if you're looking at a really quiet ride, an expensive ride, go for the Bros. Though apparently Bros when something goes wrong with the uh, motors, parts are very hard to replace. Almost impossible from what I've read. So I would maybe not consider that if you wanted to get to repairability. So Bosch, it's easy to deal with for parts. I think everything can be replaced in their motors. The problem with the uh, Bosch motors and most of the bikes they're on, they all usually consider class one, which is a maximum of, uh, what, 28 miles an hour? Or 32 kilometers an hour, one of the two. So you're limited by uh, a max speed on those, gaining the pedal assist is going to cut out once you hit 32 kilometers. Of course, I'm not having that problem on this rise bike. As the pedal assist will help you probably up to 60. So I haven't actually tested that. And I mean, the throttle alone will get you 40, 45, 47 kilometers an hour without doing anything. So if these things are important, to you, then go for a, a thousand watt motor with a throttle. Oh, something different? Yeah. It's good I got my lotion on. Yeah, I'm just So I brought along and have four extra batteries because I know how these 
Batteries, uh, are we supposed to go? Okay. Uh, they go really quick with uh, 2K filming at 60 frames. We're lucky to get like half an hour out of one battery. So I have two GoPro batteries, which are the best ones, and then some off-brand ones, which are not so great. So I take all of them. And the GoPro is mounted to my backpack strap, upper left side, so just below my chin. And the backpack is empty. Everything's in the pannier. So that makes it a lot easier for this extended trip. I'm trying to figure out another way that I could actually carry this GoPro with a good view. I mean, I suppose I could mount it on the handlebars of the bike. I have not looked for that yet. It's probably going to be a lot more vibration though. But now you kind of get a view of the, uh, at least the handlebars and the trip. And if I stand, you won't see anything like this. So, yeah, right now all I'm doing is uh, cycle trip videos. Since uh, my busking career is over for the time being, I have not actually played guitar in almost a year. Which is quite amazing for me, because I'm usually, when I'm into it, I'm into it every day for hours. So I think uh, I really sort of burned myself out last year playing for six months straight, three to five hours every second day. So I pretty well achieved what I wanted to achieve, is which is you know, getting out there, playing what I wanted, improvising everything, all my favorite songs. I think I've played them all. I mean, that's the goal of every musician really is to Sort of immerse yourself into your favorites. You know, whatever you grew up with, there's particular songs you're like, oh, I just love this song, I gotta play it, or it's something you wanna improvise to. For instance, uh, Rolling Stones, Time Waits for No One, it was one of my favorite guitar solos when I was a kid, 16. And, uh, yeah, I was influenced by Mick Taylor for sure. And other guys like Michael Schenker, Billy Gibbons. So I had an opportunity over the years of busking to play all these things, even though they might not have gotten any on-street attention. Um, they usually get more attention later on YouTube, but it was mainly for my own satisfaction to uh, test my improv skills. So the ideal busking situation was one where I could play a song like that or something from Sticky Fingers, like Can't You Hear Me Knocking for an hour or Light My Fire, where I could uh, improvise really well and still get paid for it. But those days are over for now. I mean, I suppose I could still go out there, but I really don't have the urge to. It kind of feels like it's coming up on the end of the season and I'm not sure how aggressive people are gonna be when I'm not wearing a mask. And I definitely would not wear a mask. I'm not wearing a mask anywhere. In places that require one, I don't go to. Right now that would only be what, Walmart and my dentist and my massage therapist. So I do not, uh, I won't be going to see a dentist for, for a while. Who knows how long that's going to be. I guess when it hits the point of I've got some extreme pain and I'll probably go, but there won't be any more uh, regular cleanings for a while, at least a year.
such a nice view of the power poles. These are gorgeous power poles. But there on the uh, right, you see what I've got for view. I mean, you can't beat the uh, views here. It's just weird that it's taken me this long to get out here. I mean, uh, Suzanne is uh, never a keen cyclist. So I had to really push for her to even consider this electric bike, the leisure. But now that she's on it, I think she's starting to get used to it and the idea of getting out on these trips because you can just take it easy and enjoy the day. And as I mentioned before, she's still got like a, like a baker's cyst on uh, both knees, which is, uh, you know, will cause knee pain even from walking. So she can go really gradual, use the pass assist. I think she uses like an average of three or four on the leisure. That one has to be cranked higher to get any effect. I didn't even really feel anything on one or two. But that's because it's a rear hub motor and it's only 500 watts. Compared to this Bifang, which I have is 1000 watts, and it is reacting really nicely on pass assist one. It's just enough for me. See, like I, I was just coasting there and then I kicked it in again and I really don't even feel it. It's quite uh, sensitive and uh, gradual. There's no shooting forward. So I would say I'm really happy with the aspect of this Bafang Ultra Motor. If it's working properly, it's great. And like I say, it only goes to pass assist five on the RX Pro, which may not sound a lot, but it is a lot. Because once you are on five, you're going up 20%, 25% inclines at a good clip without much effort. I've never used it. I mean, I took the Stanley Park trail ride yesterday, which was my last video from the 13th. And I went up all the hills in the park on the trails, stones, no problem. And that was all on pass assist one. I mean, I had to work a bit on a few of the big ones, but you know, you're getting a workout, so it's great. I can go? Well, where are we going exactly? We're going across. We can't go on the left. All right, continuing on at uh, 7.4 kilometers. I have knocked down the uh, tire size in the display to 28. Um, these are actually 26 inch tires, but the uh, kilometer distance display is off compared to using my phone app, which tracks with GPS. I'm trying to get them evened up. So I had to keep going up higher until I hit 29, and now I found 29 was overshooting. So yeah, the cleaning kit I bought works pretty good. Uh, it's got like seven, eight pieces in there. So I just generally, you know, use a, it's got like a hand puppet frilly cloth that you put on and it just basically get your hands into the wheels and clean it by hand after a trip, which is really good. So better than the Swifter. So I haven't oiled anything yet. I'm up uh, about 290 kilometers total trip. So I will have to start thinking about uh, some kind of lube in the next month or so.
there's always something you have to buy. That's the problem. I think I spent already 300 bucks extra now on accessories. Panniers, 85 bucks. Kryptonite Evolution 4 chain lock, 140 bucks. Um, cleaning kit, 20 bucks. A mirror, 20 bucks. So I don't know what else I really would need. I think I've got everything I need now. Other than some uh, good lube. Which actually also can run up, you know, a good, uh, good lube can be like 40, 50 bucks. So this is going to be a very gradual, slow trip. Because uh, Suzanne doesn't like to go above 20. She's more of a scenic rider. She's uh, into photography, so... She'll want to uh, stop and take pictures of birds. Well, I'll probably take a lunch break when we um, get into the park area near the ocean. I don't think that'll happen for at least another half hour, 45 minutes. So let's see how the battery's doing. I'm still halfway. Okay. Yeah, it's just a shame that the... Uh, I'm filming in 2.7K at 60 frames a second, you're not actually going to see that clarity when you're watching this video. So you look ahead at the road, you can see that it's getting blurry. I just, it cannot, ha YouTube cannot process anything with motion. It's just pixelated garbage, and I don't understand that. Like when I watch these videos at home once I've, you know, taken them, and it's like, wow, this looks great. It's super clear. And then you put it on YouTube at the absolute best quality you can, which in this case of these videos would be 2.7K, 60 frames, and a bit rate matching the original file bit rate of like 60,000, which makes a one hour of video approximately 26 gigs in size. That's how I'm doing it. And then I watch it back on YouTube and it looks like shit. There's a scarecrow back there. She says it looked like a robot. So some nice little houses here. My voltage is still at 52.3. 52 52 so that's what I'm gonna go by. Not the percentage. Still got those nice hydraulic water brakes. And that's why they call them a hydraulic. So you get this. That's the water. The clear Canadian spring water rushing through the tubes. Lubricating everything. I love it. water bike the future in 2020 so um yeah we just did a, a kilometer comparison and we were actually even so maybe i found the sweet spot with the display setting putting the tires at 28 inch she still hasn't dropped from 100 percent on her battery what what about it mine well, I'm going by volts. I'm going by voltage, so I don't know. I'm probably around 90, I would estimate. Yeah, I just hit 10 as well. So it looks like I'm 
I found the proper setting now for the uh, tire size because I dropped it to 28 inches. Well, so far, at least it's uh, our bikes are even. I'm not sure what my app would say. Listen to my water brakes. What the hell is that? You hear that? We got noise. Something's hitting, I gotta stop. Something was hitting there. I don't know what that could have been. Maybe it's the cable. See, this is what I don't like about uh, cable systems. They get close to the spoke. Hmm. Let me just check my uh, my app odometer. Shows 10.9 on here, so I'm still a little bit behind. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I don't know where that noise was coming from but it happened when I was braking was the uh, brake cable getting in the way it looks like it's got clearance to me so yeah that's almost what I dread is the uh, the arrival of new strange sounds that indicate some kind of uh, problem that requires a repair job that costs money. Or, you know, hopefully you can fix it yourself. So I'm on downhill now, I'm not pushing at all. So yeah, this is like the power, the power pole trip. It's very scenic. Get to see every power line in Vancouver. Yeah, the only problem I have now is the uh, the gears slipping. So I should be able to adjust that myself. But again, I need to actually get the bike upside down in a and this is not even actually easy to do it's like that that hassle alone of just turning the bike upside down to work on it because it weighs almost 70 pounds makes me think of just going to the shop and doing it I'm lazy this way because I have to go take it in for a brake pad uh, replacement anyway so they can just check the uh, the railer and, and the gears. I have a nice tan after this. Uh, it's going to take more than thorns to go through that tire. On this hill? Yeah. Oh, jeez. I had to go down to one to hit this hill. All right, 12.9 kilometers. 
call it 13. I have emptied out my SD card completely for this trip. It gives me about uh, four hours at 2.7K filming. All right, taking a right. Slippery when frosty. Wasn't that a Bon Jovi album? It was one of my favorites from the 80s. Or was it the sequel? Do you remember that album from Bon Jovi, Slippery When Frosty? <laughs> What's going on? I don't know, I just have to... What? Been... Just go, slow it down and take the car on the corner. So I was not even aware of this bike route under the bridge, which is cool. All right, I'm still in gear five, right in the middle. Pass assist one, going uphill. See that there's a bump 25 meters ahead. Oh, freaky. It's blacker than black. None more black. That's what they should call this path. Panniers, good. Would recommend. Where'd you get them? Uh, online. Do you remember what's the brand? Ortley. Ort. Sorry, I'm on the phone. Oh sure. I'm missing somebody. <laughs> She's walking the bike. I cannot believe this. Ah. Oh. I was asking her about her panniers. I was asking her about her panniers. She said she got them online. They looked like they were a good size. I mean, I'm still gonna look. Well, I'm just concerned about the zipper. The zippers. Yeah. But it makes it hard to open and close. I call this path none more black. <laughs> I call this bike path none more black. Remember Spinal Tap? She's got a kitty on her helmet. 
don't know if that was a camera. Kitty camera. Oh, I should have been prepared for that one. There was the test of the pannier, everybody. You can see that? Came off. Did you hear when I ring the bell? No, I didn't hear a thing. So these cannot handle uh, bumps. bumps. That's not good. I might have to return them just for that reason. If it wasn't strapped on, it would be gone already. Okay, first battery ran out back there on the bridge. We got sidetracked a bit on a ugly stretch of casino. Uh, road and now we're back on the path so that was about uh, 10 minutes of riding the sidewalk she did not need to see that okay all the way to Steveston yeah so this is the final 10k before we get there. So at least we got a nice water view. Yeah. What's that? Really? Stop. Interesting. To stop for a bit, I'm going to check my odometer. Doesn't seem to go anywhere unless I'm stopped. Ninety-two. All right. It's still pretty good. It's done seventeen kilometers. Still showing ninety-two percent. All right. So the rest of this should be pleasant. Ooh, satellite dish. I'm starting to get hungry. It's the UBC Boathouse. So yeah, we just passed Chirpy Chicken Hut. Nothing beats Chirpy Chicken Hut in Richmond for a dining experience extraordinaire.
But so far on my wheels, I've had like uh, bird shit stuck in the threads and also a moss. But I'm able to get all that out with the uh, cleaning kit that I bought. So of course you do that before you take it into your apartment. Go straight into these bushes. Some nice thorns. I guess if you live here, at least you have a view of the water. Bird on the right. Your light is not flashing. Okay. It's the Olympic uh, Riverside Plaza. All right. Hey, we could play badminton here or volleyball. There's a volleyball. I just read the sign what it was and I've already forgotten it's the Olympic Riverside Plaza so I don't know what they do yeah okay right yeah Go out here with the clapper. And how many kilometers? 18.2. All right, I show 18.4. Because you have to come back all the time again. What? Because you have to come back all the time again. Yes. Well, where does this go? To the bridge? Yeah, well, let's see what's ahead. Picnic table. <laughs> the picnic table. And uh, we're not gonna eat here. We'll uh, wait till we get to the shady area. So her battery is still at 100%. They have the same mileage. I'm uh, 0.2 kilometers ahead of her because I had to go back for her a few times, wondering where she disappeared to. So I'm at 91%, This is pretty good, considering I've hit almost 19 kilometers. Like I say, that first 10% goes really far. So probably uh, easy 20 kilometers 
from uh, 100% to 90%. Like I say, I've tested the bike. I've gone over 100 kilometers. So with this kind of casual riding, level, pass assist one, it should do 100K. You're gonna go full out, high levels of assist. You're gonna get less. But anywhere between 70 and 100 is good for me. So I'm glad I got the bigger battery. The thing with those Bosch motors, they may have smaller batteries, but the motors are more efficient. And they also probably get the same mileage. You're just not going to be able to hit high speeds, like 32 kilometers an hour tops on the assist. If you pedal yourself, I mean, you can get faster. Very nice day out. Not too hot. I'm getting full sun here. But I got the lotion on. See how much battery I get out of this. Last of my GoPro batteries. I'm guessing about 40 minutes. There goes a plane. You can see that. It's probably hard to see. There's a little island. I forgot the name of this island. Is it Anasis Island? I don't think there's anything going on there. Johnny Depp doesn't own it. What's the name of this island? You know? Do you know what it's called? Isn't it Anasis Island? I mean, there's nothing going on on there.
Well, I guess the nice thing about these bikes is they feel pretty solid on this kind of trail. You know, you don't feel like you're slipping. So now I can ride next to you and if anybody's coming up on me, I can see them. Yeah, well, yes. I'd rather have it that it can fold away. fishing down there. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I could not see the water. Oh, plane take off. I was so foggy here and couldn't see the water at all. All right. I did not recognize that e-bike brand. So yeah, that's the airport on the right. So if you haven't guessed. And if you live here, you can watch planes take off all day. Oh, I'm so glad I don't have to fly. I never liked flying anyway. And now that they require a mask, that's it. No more flying for me. And that's fine. Reduce the carbon footprint. Save money. We used to take uh, cruises all the time, which is also like a huge environmental um, damage to so do that like once a year I won't be doing that again either so I guess that's one good thing about the lockdown saving money not traveling just put the money into bikes and get out on the road this is fine with me That's some nice plants there. I don't know what they call these. Okay. Turning right. Twenty one kilometers. 87% on the battery. So once I got down to 90, it just started dropping faster. Ah, finally getting nice out here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So how long would that take me to get out here? <laughs> About an hour? It's 
the West Dyke Trail. I could make some jokes here, but... Stay two meters apart. Not 1.5 or 1.7. Then you're dead. up the hill. Oh, this is nice. I'm gonna take a shot. Yeah, so the bike feels pretty solid on a trail like this. It's a big advantage with the fat tires. You don't feel like uh, you're going to lose control or slip. Just go riding right into the marsh. See how far I get. That's the true test. Hard right. Dragonfly! The Garawa lands. So yeah, the rear view mirror could be a little bit bigger, but it's fine. It's uh, collapsible, so you can just bend it in when you're not using it. It's nice. Not a lot of traffic out here, it's good. Ooh, berries. I forgot about the berries. I think a little too risky to go in there. The scratches, not worth it. Open fires, strictly encouraged. Light them up. Is this a different route? Ah, so stay on this one. Not a cloud. There's some nice trees out here. This is like about Stanley Park. It would be like this, you still get the coverage. And the shade. Yep. Ooh. That's a tree graveyard. It's a tree graveyard. Lots of, uh, ah, it looks like berries here too. There's lots of these red, what are those? 
sort of poison berries. Have you dropped from 100 yet? No. I'm down to 80, from 86. That's exactly what I am. Yeah, it could be. But I'm already at 86. Yeah. Well, I should be able to do a minimum of 70. It's going to be lighter anyway. It's just right over the golf course. <laughs> just tear it up. Because it's a Friday, people are still working. Just pedaling effortlessly. Basically, just at this speed of 17, I am just putting very light weight on the pedals, just enough to make them go around. I turn off the pedal assist now. Yeah, you can feel it. It's like suddenly putting the brakes on. Oh. It's terrible. What a difference. I mean, sure, you could get home, I guess, with this, but not in sixth gear. I mean, I'm on flat ground. And I'm having to push pretty good right now. There's no power. Nice view at the back of these houses. You see that uh, house back there? It had a... Somebody had a hot tub on their balcony. Must be nice. Sitting in there. See, dropping fast now, 84%. Around 91. I was not more than four or five kilometers ago.
That would be hell for me, walking this route. Nice little houses, townhouses. These are cute. Nice little balconies. Nice little backyards. Mine's dropping faster now. I'm now down to 83. So I'm like, it goes really slow up until 90%, then it starts going faster. Speed on throttle. See what I can get. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Yeah, that's pretty good. It really kicks in. Eat my dust. That was fun. Hit 40 on the throttle. <laughs> what? Yeah. It really kicks in pretty high. That's some nice houses here. This looks like a nice neighborhood here. I'm down to 75. Dropped like 7%. Yeah. Hey, I wonder how long it goes with just throttle. You probably get 20k out of it. Battery still shows four bars. So where's the shade? 
There's no shade. Have we not hit the park yet? Where's that park? There was a park around the corner. Really? Well, we should have stopped there. It's no, not going to be any covered areas now. Yeah, so you see how much battery goes when you use the uh, throttle. That was for what, uh, 15 seconds? And dropped 7%. Well, we must almost be there. little fountain it's a nice is that a house there in the corner something else it's empty what's this on the corner there it's empty thought it was a house Find a shaded area. <laughs> you sit down and eat. Mary Point Park. Uh, anywhere to sit around here? Seems to be quite a lack of uh, benches. Thank you. 
Yeah. Well, I gotta find some place to sit, which doesn't seem to be easy here. Let's go through there and take a look. Should have brought a blanket. I was thinking about that. So now we can't even sit. Yeah, good luck finding a bench. Well, let's just keep going. Gonna have to sit at a bench here then. Well, you can keep looking, but I don't know. See how far we can get. for a place to sit and eat with some shade. Soon coming up to Steveston or you're not even allowed to go in without a mask. So I'm curious where that border is. Okay. Pizza, Greek, fish shop, 
fish and chips, save on foods. Ice cream. Hmm, ice cream. That would be good. Well, okay. Okay. We've arrived. So where's this pizza place? That costs of eight hundred bucks. Still no place to sit. English Avenue.
found a bike path. It's a bit of shade. Okay, break time at 28.8 kilometers. And my app says 30.2, uh, it's off. All right, lunch time's over. I have a 45 minute break, sitting in the shade, it's the only shaded spot I could find. And there were some really nice uh, <clears throat> blackberries here. I just had about a dozen from this bush. Very refreshing, just what I needed. Just had a sandwich, some cashews. Okay. So we're going to head back on a different route, Railway Avenue. Right. So yeah, somebody else was just commenting on one of my videos, how they got the rise bike, and they also had the water break problem. And again, rise told them, it's normal. Such a cop out. Of course it's normal, that's why my replacement pads were completely quiet. some more of those blackberries taking some home all right here we are railway avenue it's actually quite nice in here yeah i know that i'm the one that told you we were going here <laughs> Yeah, it's not really what I expect from Richmond. Richmond, I usually just think of the worst parts of Richmond, which is, you know, the shopping areas and all the dime a dozen electronic stores and the ugly, uh, you know, the, the traffic. And... So go left. So yeah, it's uh, got some nice little neighborhoods around here. Let's stay near the water. So uh, Susanna's dusted off the bikes with that little glove puppet. They were pretty dusty, including the pannier bags.
So this will be the route back. I see something a little different. And that's 73%. 29.6 kilometers. Oh, it's good to sit in the shade for a while. I needed a break from the sun. I've been riding since 11. 11 to 2 in the sun. Worst time of day. I think I got my vitamin D for the rest of the year. At least it's not crazy busy on this route. If it follows all the way, you can try it. All right. Good day for riding. What's that? Feeling as what? Yeah, well, but that's pretty uh, dirty. Use a little more even pass. Still at a hundred. <laughs> nice. But what, what's your battery say? Uh -huh. I'm also four. It's funny that mine would still show four bars. Like 72 on the meter. Yours is easier to read in the sun. See mine, I can't hardly see it. In a certain yeah. angles, it disappears completely. Yeah. That's one thing I don't like about it, this display. Yeah. We'll just follow it as far as we can. Her battery is still at a hundred percent. Very impressive.
Yeah, it's not quite as scenic as taking the dike route. It's a little easier going though. Yeah, it uh, rides pretty steady without hands. Balance is good. Get some stretches in. Northbound. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not so excited about Steveston. It's just a tourist spot. Just a bunch of restaurants. Overpriced restaurants. Where fish and chips cost you 20 bucks. Like Granville Island, same idea. Yeah. Wow. It's a green. Yeah. I was going to say that about Richmond. What is a fact? It's the worst drivers in the world. That's why it's very important to have a bike path. I mean, who honks at somebody on a green? Oh, that's not too bad. At least we're heading downhill. Put on another layer of sunscreen.
it's not as exciting as Stanley Park. But something different. Haven't been on this route. Gotta check them all out. The next one would be Horseshoe Bay. Okay, now we have a choice. Dirt path or stay on the pavement. Ah, down the pavement. It's probably walking. Gloves and a mask. Fuck me. What? I didn't hear you. Was that about ping pong? Ping pong training. Where was that? Okay. Was there a table? <laughs> you see that guy? He had a mask and gloves on. <laughs> He's protecting himself from himself. See? That's what you have to do. Sixty nine per cent, thirty three point two kilometers. So, still managing about a kilometer per percentage. It's good there's a windscreen on this GoPro for the audio, otherwise you wouldn't be able to hear anything. That makes this weird echo. It's trying to filter. The bike is pretty quiet. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, at least we're going downhill.
so glad I have this padded seat. It's a good deal, 30 bucks on Amazon. Better than the one that came with it. Look at some of these old houses here. They're right in the middle of the new ones. All right, we're back on the route that we came in on. It's been a big year for e-bikes. Everybody cooped up at home. Everybody's sold out. Everybody wants some. I don't even think I've had mine for barely a month. I got it around, I think, 20th of July. So can we go over this bridge? the plane. The plane boss, the plane. Here's the Olympic. 
Olympic Center again. Has it dropped yet? What? I'm already at 66. It still show four bars though. So I think my battery is actually higher than what it's showing. Because four bars should be at least 75%. That's why I prefer to go by the voltage reading. Why did you change it back to? I don't know, just to see what it was going to do. see downtown yet.
There's a Canada Post station. And this weird statue, which looks like a, a tribute to Terminator 2. The uh, morphing uh, Terminator. What's that? What? This is where we came up. Okay. Yeah. I think that statue is a tribute to the Terminator 2. The liquid metal. Exoskeleton. Well, we'll see. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Just put it in easy gear. Good job. Am I too slow? Oh, you go then. Cheers. That was that bump that sent my bag off, yes. Everything's good. That's a nice view coming back. bump again. Back in business, getting away from that horrendous stretch of traffic there. Oh, there's just no way to reach the bridge without having to do a couple kilometers in that shit.
Ah, get some shade now. That's good. Max speed today was 42. Because I've only burned 185 calories, how is that possible? He is way off. It says 71 minutes. That's also way off. It says I only burned like 170 calories, which is ridiculous. That's what the odometer says, it's off. Huh? It's not normal, I'm almost at half. 57. She's finally using the throttle. I still haven't gone out of one. Only hit 36 on that one. It's funny, the battery meter didn't actually drop. What the fuck? <laughs> I'll just take a left onto the fucking pedestrian path. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's what I said. It's Richmond. Oh, yeah, I guess we're not in Richmond. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down to 54 now. Okay, I'm about to pedal assist three. Still nothing? Mine's showing three bars now, finally.
What's your odometer show? How many kilometers? 37.2. How many? 37.2. Well, why does mine say it's 33? Something weird happened. I switched around the, the display. Okay, now my, okay, it's right, 40, 46.4. So I'm down to half power. And my boost only pushes me to 36 now. Earlier it went to 40. And that was on stones. So it was a lot more power when I was up at 70, 80. Uh huh, yeah. She's trying to get it to drop from 100%. No success. <laughs> I'm already half empty. She still shows 100%. How's it possible? I don't know. Weight difference of 50 pounds. Still hasn't dropped. I gotta change back to voltmeter. So my voltage is 48.4.
it was full at uh, I think 54 More pedal assist, just throttle it. Gotta use it up, to drop it a percentage at least. <laughs> just throttle all the way home, see what happens. Kid was like, look mom, electric bike. Yeah. She's like, I know you like that. It's getting sore now. It's been about four hours. That's a nice view. Back into the lush green of Vancouver. Stand up for a bit.
Lots of green there. Coming down, lots of green. Nice view. shower Still no drop. This wasn't from the Still no drop. It just loves it to be at a hundred. It's like, I refuse to drop. waving at you See, look at this. Gradual throttle while I'm standing. See? Uh, enjoying the ride back more. 
it's more enjoyable back home as you're going downhill. Right. You got a better view. It's one of the cheaper brands, Electric. Ah, there it is. Downtown. All right. There we have the hippie gardens on the side. You came up here five hours ago. Oh. Where does this go if you follow it? Well, you can try. See how far it goes. Maybe. That's fine. Have to get an ice. Or already wait for an, wait for ice at home. Yeah. Yeah, I've never been this far. This is gonna go back. 
This is ridiculous. Penny's coming off again. Keep going straight. I guess we're taking the uh, False Creek path again. Three point six kilometers. 